do you think he did? I am so incredibly proud of Donald J. Trump. He just went up against a woman who was described as the most experienced, most qualified candidate ever to run for president. And yet there he was, holding his own, laying out a clear vision that he has for this country. I'm so incredibly proud of him. I mean, a woman who has those types of credentials should have had a stellar debate performance. And, and instead, she faltered on issues that she should know inside and out. Donald Trump was clear, concise, and thorough, and he connected with the American people. That's why he's leading her in the polls, and that's why he won the debate tonight. Now, but what about temperament, right? So there, there are a lot of people who are going to talk about, there, there were several moments where it seemed that he became uneasy, that he became annoyed, even angry. Uh, is that the kind, in, in, in this first debate, you thought he got angry? I, I do. I, I, do think I, he... I, I saw that he got passionate. Okay. And this country needs somebody who's going to fight for them and be passionate about issues that affect our day to day. There are people who are hurting. There are people who need jobs. There are people trying to figure out safe places to send their children and how they're going to make ends meet. You want somebody who is passionate and willing to fight for you. And Donald Trump is going to put you first as opposed to the special interests of the big Wall Street banks that she's indebted to. Well, in about an hour, we counted 23 interruptions to her five kind of rebuttals where she was talking he interrupted 23 times I mean is that I mean this is a debate of course well but before the before the debate she called on all these fact checkers and everybody I want you to join me in fact checking you know the one thing that she couldn't stand on she deleted 30,000 emails, that she put a server in the basement of her home, that she destroyed, her staff destroyed blackberries with hammers. I mean, that's, that it, causes for an interruption. It was odd, I mean, it, was it odd to you that that didn't get more play tonight, that I, he didn't, I, you know, I, he didn't beat that over the heads of, of the audience? Because this is Donald Trump, the statesman. Uh, this, this is, is the Donald reserved... Trump taking the high road. He could have hammered her again and again the fact that she is the only candidate in this race who is currently continuously under investigation by the FBI. They've reopened it because they've discovered some discrepancies <laughs> <laughs> in the stories that she continues to tell that she had no idea that she sent classified information when in fact that is not the truth. Now what do we talk about discrepancies in his tax returns? I mean are we ever going to see? I don't see... think he's ever wavered from the fact that he's been very clear from the beginning that when the audit is over he will release his tax returns. Uh, that story has never ever ever changed. Donald Trump has told exactly what's happening with his tax return and it's been consistent from the beginning. What's not consistent is the fact that all of her staff has pleaded the fifth, that they refuse to even answer questions about their role in this scandal with the deletion of these emails. Well, that, Trump, also, me, Trump, does also ha Trump does also have a way of, of answering without answering. You know what I mean? Kind of walking around the question. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll repeat parts of the question in the response without necessarily giving. But can I get you to at least acknowledge that Donald Trump has exceeded anyone's expectations. I would, there, you are for sure, you, you are absolutely, I don't think anybody <laughs> had any idea that Donald Trump would be someday sharing the stage. In the first presidential debate. In the first presidential debate with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it's pretty remarkable. Yeah. 16 primary candidates, now he's going toe to toe with her. Where do you um, think, where do you think she messed up worst tonight? Where do you think her biggest pitfall was? It was very odd that she kept giggling. She kept laughing as if these issues weren't important. I don't think that the people who are in the heartland of this country are laughing when they are hurting. They're looking for jobs. Their jobs are being shipped overseas. They're concerned about terrorism. They're concerned about their children going to safe schools. They're concerned about health care. And they're concerned about a candidate who's going to be honest and truthful with them. I don't know why she thought that that was funny, but I saw that she giggled so much and she just, she laughed throughout the things and these are very serious issues. And to me, that was her shortcoming. What do you think about Lester Holt? How do you think Lester did tonight moderating um, the- I've known Lester for a very long time. I, he was first, he first interviewed me way back in 2004. And I think that it's a very difficult job to be the first moderator of the presidential uh, debate cycle. 
and I thought that he did a decent job. There were moments, and I think both sides will say this, where he was needling and, and hammering our candidate more than he was with her, that he was pushing for an answer that he wanted that, as opposed to going and acknowledging that that was the answer that our candidate gave, and, and even going double back, and then he started being a fact checker. But even with all of that, I thought that he did a decent job. It was it's no easy task to be the first one. Now my last question to you. Okay. Rosie O'Donnell comment. No one, I didn't see that one coming. What do you, what do you honestly, what do you think? Well, the Donald always double downs on things. I mean, don't we know him to double down? But it's is that, is that a good to move? me that he double downed on someone who attacked his family. I don't know if you recall, but I was there during this time where she was on The View and she attacked his family. She talked about his wife. He talked about his children. And, and, and in no way am I trying to justify um, in any way these back and forth. But I will say that if you go after my family, then all's fair and, and love and war. I mean, I will come back at you with the vengeance of you know, all that I have. And so he was defending the right of his family and the virtue of his family. And I believe that that's where you see these continue, continue defenses of what he said because of that reason. Now that I know about you is absolutely true. Don't mess with you or the family. <laughs>